everyone. Welcome to So Kodiak Lifestyle. Today I'm going to go over how to create a pattern template using Affinity Designer 2. This would be a template if you were creating a pattern and then wanted to put it onto artboards so that you can print each individual sheet. All right, so we are here on Affinity Designer 2 and the first step is to come up under file and we're going to want to start a new file. So as you can see I'm starting a new file. On this one I'm setting it to A4 which is your printer, a traditional printer at home. And down here I'm going to change the layout to centimeters. And so for this one, this is a regular sheet of paper, but I want to make it two centimeters smaller. So it's going to be 19 centimeters is the width and the height is 27.7. And go ahead and click create. All right, so now here I have a blank canvas and I'm ready to start creating artboards. So I come up to the artboard tool and I'm just going to go ahead and trace this size here and release. And over on the right hand side under transformation I'm just going to check. Yes, it is 19 centimeters wide by 27.7 centimeters high. So the next step is on the first artboard you want to add any details that you want to print out in your pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and trace using the pen tool all the way around my pattern, my artboard. And if I come over to the right hand side of the screen I'm going to click under stroke and I'm going to make that one and release. All right. So I'm going to add markers for all four sides of the pattern. If you come over to the diamond tool, click on the diamond tool, draw yourself a diamond, the size that you like. I pretty happy with that size there. Ah, there we go. All right. So you also want to make sure that you have snap on. So I'm going to take my diamond. Oh, sorry. Need to delete that diamond. And I'm going to get the pointer tool and I'm going to snap that diamond into the horizontal position. So you can see it's centered horizontally and vertically and release. I can come back over to the diamond on the right hand side of the screen and click duplicate. So once I have that duplicated I'm going to bring it over and center that over here on the right hand side. Click duplicate. You can see I need to bring it over and this is going to be for the bottom of my pattern. When I get centered, duplicate, So I want to just make sure that I have the correct number and that they are perfectly centered. So that's perfectly centered. The one's in the center. Oops, when I snap them, oh, I need to change, go back and change that size. All right, so I should have four diamonds. One, two, three, four. And they are centered on my document. 
The next thing I want to do is I want to come up with a labeling system. So I'm going to come over here, click on the artistic tool, and this is going to be A1. Come over to the left hand, right hand side and click under color and change the opacity down to about 50%. I think I need to have this highlighted. Here we go. Opacity about 50%. I think I'm going to make this a little smaller and then I'm going to move this up to the left hand side. Bring it down a little of my pattern. Right there. All right. So once you're happy with your basic artboard template, now it's just time to start to reproduce those. So I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller by clicking on my wheel. Go. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to make a very small two by three printer. So it'll print out on six different sheets of paper. So I click, I'm going to minimize this board over here on the right hand side. And there's two ways I can do this. I can do a right click on my mouse and click duplicate. We'll bring it over and I'll just snap it right into place. The other way is to use your control key and the letter J and it'll bring up another artboard. Snap it into place, control J, control J, control J. So at this point you can see that I have a 2 by 3 artboard. But now I need to go back in and do some relabeling. So at the bottom is artboard number 1, which is labeled perfectly. I click on artboard number 2 and I want to rename it artboard 2. Again, click on it, art board okay. So under artboard two, I do need to change where it says A two because that's no longer A two. Now it is A I meant no longer A1, now it is A2. So that artboard is finished. And so you just keep on continuing this process. So I go up to the next artboard. I want to rename it. This is going to be artboard number three. And then I come down to the title part. And then I'm going to want to change this to A3. And then I can collapse it. So I'm going to show one more. Go to the next artboard. Click on it. Rename it. So this is going to be artboard number four. And then I also need, I'm going to open it up here, artboard four. Now I'm down to the second level. So now my labeling needs to change to B. One. So click on. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse this last artboard. And now I'm on the next artboard. So I'm going to relabel it. So this would be artboard number five. And then I'm going to change the, my labeling here. This is going to be B two. And then the next one, this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and collapse that so I don't get too many. So this is my sixth artboard. 
and this would be B3, not 13, 3. There we go. And I'm going to relabel this artboard as artboard number 6. So at this point, if you wanted to have more artboards, if you have a larger pattern, then you'd keep on building this. It could have a longer horizontal. It could be longer vertically. It just depends on what you need for your pattern. The next step after this, after I have my artboards all set up the way I want them, I'm going to go ahead and minimize them. So you can see I have artboard one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is something I do not need. So that it needs to be a delete. There we go. Okay. Delete this art text. That was a little goof. So now that I have everything organized, I'm just going to come up to File, and I'm going to click on Save This. And this is just going to be titled, let's see, I need to go to the correct place that I want to save it on my computer. And this is going to be just called Artboard. I'm going to call this Sewing Template. And this is going to be Sewing Template number 3. And it is a 2 by 3. So you could make a whole bunch of these templates that you could bring open just based upon their size. So I'm going to click Save. The next step is to come back over to whatever pattern you either made or you imported onto your computer. So here in Affinity, here's a pattern that I've made, just a quick and easy short pattern. So all I do on the right hand side of the screen is click copy. So I've copied it and I want to move over to my template 3. And I'm going to just click a paste. So you can see right now, it is over here. It's located in artboard number six. And this is not where I want it. So first I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to be at. And then I want to turn it counterclockwise. So one problem that you can see, I'm going to kind of center it up here on this first um, row, A1, A2, A3. And I think I like how it's centered there. But I, you, I can only see that one little part of my pattern. I can't see the whole pattern. So the next step that you need to do is I'm just going to click off. So I know that's over here in, in A1. I'm just going to click. So here is an artboard A1 on the right hand side of the screen. I click and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. The group that has my pattern, which is where I'm pointing, where it says group, I need to drag it out of artboard one so it's a standalone individual because right now it's a child. So I click on it and as you can see when I drag it up I wait till I get that solid, that light blue line and I release it. And now I can see my whole entire pattern. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I don't need these last three artboards, be artboard four, five, and six. So just for printing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and delete those out. So I'm going to minimize this group. So artboard six, delete. Artboard five, I'm going to delete. And artboard four, I'm going to delete. All right, so now I'm left with the pattern that I want to print. 
I'm going to come up here to click save and the first time I'm going to go ahead and save it also just as an affinity file and I'm happy with that oh that's because I should have renamed it but that is fine so I'm going to go ahead and click save so you should make sure that you when you know save each step and rename it before you do your pattern on there is a good idea so I'm going to come up you can click on this export persona or just go ahead and click over on the left hand top on file and I'm going to come down here to export and I want to export this as a PDF file so you can see I, I'm going to have different choices so this is a PDF and the area I want it to be whole document the image size it needs to be at a hundred percent and click export it's going to ask what I where it wants me to save it so I'm just going to go ahead and find my file here and it's no longer really a template I'm just going to call it printable water bottle I'm going to call it number five and then I click save so if you go into your files now hopefully you're going to see the file that we just saved which is this printable water bottle five so I click on it and it comes up and now I'm just really ready to print so there are a few things just to check on when you go to print so I'm going to click on the printer button so you can see it's three pages long this is where on our, my original document I had six artboards and I deleted three of them if I left them there I could have just went ahead and left them there and then just printed pages one through three but I deleted them you also want to make sure that it is set on actual size not fit because it, your pattern won't be the right size so actual size and then you can click really carefully not carefully but just click on the view so you can see it's going to be on three pages and then you hit print so thank you for joining me today on learning how to use affinity designer 2 and this is creating art boards so that you can print a large file or as large as you need it to be for your printing your patterns and I hope that you enjoyed today and stay tuned for more sewing and lifestyle here in Kodiak